Okay, this is my daughter's 2012 VW Golf. We have a check engine light, the P0455 evaporative emission control large leak, which means that we have a leak somewhere between the gas tank and the engine. We're gonna fix this problem and spend zero money. I love spending zero money. Don't you, Melanie? Yes. We're gonna, okay. No money spent, we're gonna fix it. Stay tuned. check engine lights on <laughs> so we, we just bought this car so how many miles does it have uh, 15,000 hundred and yeah. hundred and fifty two thousand yeah so we has a hundred but how many miles did we put on it uh, 63 I think we put well we, we did one tank of gas so far in this uh, car yeah. so maybe like 300 miles so now, now we got the check engine light on Melanie, you don't look too happy. My car's broken. <laughs> That's this car for Melanie's uh, high school graduation present. Uh, it is a high, it's a 2012 VW Golf. It has a, when we bought it, it had 152,000. I think we've only put, we've only driven it at maybe one tank of gas, about 300 miles. The check engine light just came on. So, uh, you know, it's got some miles. We, we knew we might have to do something here and there. So we're gonna read the code, see what's going on. I've got my code scanner. Usually the OBD connector is down under the dash right here. Okay, plug in the scanner. We're gonna need to turn the car on so it can read the codes. Usually these cars don't have any kind of a turn off. So turn off the fan and all your accessories, otherwise it's gonna drain the battery. We wanna do, read the engine codes. Read codes. We have a P0455. Evaporative emission system leak detect. Large leak. One code. So on this 2012 VW Golf, we have a P0455 EVAP, evaporative emission control system, large leak detect. Now, back in 98, uh, they made all the car manufacturers put in this EVAP system, which basically is we were having a lot of ozone problems because, you know, the emissions on cars. Because gas, if you were to take a little bit of gas and like from your lawnmower or something and leave the, the gas cap off of your gas tank, the, the fumes from the gas would go out into the atmosphere. And this was ruining the ozone. So they decided to put in a check system for that to make sure that you your car does not emit any gas fumes so they put a pressurized cap in the gas on the gas cap to keep the fumes from getting out and then they put a charcoal canister to filter any fumes that may get out and then they put a, a actual valve a check valve by the motor which basically maintains that pressure and when your car is ready to burn that fuel vapor it will click a solenoid let the vapor into the engine and burn it and then the valve will cut off and then every now and then the car will do a system performance check so they actually put a vac uh, a pressure pump into the system so there's the system consists of a pump which will pressurize the tank and everything between the valve and the tank and double check and then it'll put a timer on it and see if it maintains that pressure if it does not maintain that pressure it'll throw a check engine code whether it be a large leak which is what we have a large leak or a small leak uh, so it's kind of up to you to test the system now a lot of times the first thing to check when you have a VVAP uh, is the gas cap because this is a pressurized thing so you want to just look at the gaskets in here these actually look pretty good uh, I don't really have any way of testing this um, but supposedly this is supposed to uh, maintain the pressure so when you pull into a gas station and if you take this off to put gas in and you never hear any pressure release like psh, then you obviously know there's a system leak somewhere and a lot of times it can be the gas cap so check the gaskets these look fine. So we're gonna go up and usually the second calmest thing is that 
EVAP control valve up in the engine called the N80 valve. So let's go up to the engine and check that. We're gonna pull this up here, and then I'm gonna pull it up right here. You can see somebody already broke it from pulling on the corner. But we may have to get it in there a little bit. Oh, here we go. So right here, underneath your front air filter cover is your N80 valve. This is the EVAP control valve. Um, and you can see it's got a, it has a, it has a clamp here. And this clamp is more or less permanent, but we're gonna cut that off and we're gonna just put a regular, fil uh, regular clamp on that. Okay. Just go underneath it. Pick it up. So this is more or less a permanent clamp on that end. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to, I got one ready to go. I got a, one that we can take on and off. So then, I'm going to take my vacuum gauge here. Okay. See that lit? See I'm moving? <laughs> so definitely a leak. This thing is leaking. So this N80 valve either has a piece of dirt in it and we need to replace it. But you can see obviously if I plug this with my finger. It's not my it's not my vacuum pump. This works. Release. So let's take that. That's a big leak. Big leak. You can just push this down or I, I like to just go underneath them. And plug that. I like to use these big wide pliers uh, instead of little ones to do this kind of stuff once again they always they usually get stuck right there okay so there you have it there's a little filter in there but I don't see one in there okay we're gonna try a uh, We're going to try cleaning it. Let's just see if cleaning it's going to work. That's a pretty harsh chemical. Maybe we'll just WD-40. <laughs> See how it's working? It's working right there. Now it's holding. It just had some dirt in it. Look at that. So we just cleaned it. I'm not even gonna buy a new one. I'm just gonna clean it. I'm gonna put it right back on, guys. Let's clean it up. So there you have it. You know, a lot of parts, it's just dirty. You know, it, it picks up a lot of that carbon from your carbon filter and shoots it up in there and it, it'll just plug it up. This car only has 150,000 miles. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the solenoid portion. It was just, uh, it had an air leak because it had a piece of dirt in it or carbon. Now we can put it right back on. <laughs> so there's an arrow. It only goes one way. OK. 
Okay, got that. And then we're gonna put in our new clamp. Makes it a little bit easier here. I'll go underneath like that. Let's put that back on its little support. Plug the electrical in. Push it down. And push it down. Push it down. There you go. Now that we fixed it, we're going to erase it. Enter erase codes, erase trouble codes, erase done. And that's it, erase codes. Check engine light on? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're good. We got Ryan. We got Kaylee. Ah! Who's driving the car? It's Melanie. <laughs> 